film that basically perpetuates stereotypes worth watching. Cinematic class is about to begin, and the professor is in. Ladies and gentlemen, I am your professor for this cinematic class, host and producer of Outtakes with Fiore, the Tri-State's longest-running and award-winning film review program. And the movie I just watched was called Marshall. It's a story that details a specific case by Thurgood Marshall, who, as you know, went on to become a Supreme Court justice member and was the man responsible for giving us Brown versus the Board of Education, a ruling in the land that still affects public education systems today. This movie offers really nothing new as far as stories go that go all the way back to the time when America was a very segregated nation. Now, of course, most of the black people portrayed in this movie are uh, heroic. Most of the white people portrayed in this movie are evil and villainous, with the exception of the Jews, who are the friends of the Negroes. This is stereotypical, and it's something that uh, they just can't seem to brush away from, even though it's not uh, you know, 100% historically accurate, shall we say. What makes this movie worth watching is the performance of Josh Gad as Samuel Friedman. My God, he puts forth a good performance in this. And slowly but surely, uh, this actor is adding roles to his repertoire that even though some of them are rather quirky, he's doing a really good job on them. I think it might be time for him to break forth and hit the front line of box office contenders. That may be happening soon. This story involves uh, pretty much a trite plot that's been told many, many times before about a white socialist, uh, socialite, I should say, who is played by Kate Hudson, and uh, who is charging her black chauffeur, played by Sterling K. Brown, with rape. And a lot of it involves the, the courtroom drama with Thurgood Marshall on, and, uh, and Josh Gad on one side. And on the other side is Dan Stevens, who does a good job in his role as well. There's nothing really new presented here. The film does take an awful lot of liberties. When it says based on a true story, it does mean based. There's a lot of historical twisting and bending here. But in so doing, it does not present anything that's kind of new and interesting. In fact, this this whole story of a white woman bringing charges against a black man that are rather bogus has been done repeatedly and probably more effectively by Walter Mosley and his uh, detective character, Easy Rollins, been covered much better back then. So, if you're in the mood to see some really fine acting on the part of Josh Gad, and you really don't know the early story of uh, Thurgood Marshall and his work with the NAACP, this movie might be worth a little look. Pour yourself an adult libation and enjoy it. Marshall, now that you have learned what you have learned, here ended your lesson.